Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I do um, rainbow masking um, or stenciling. I know people like to, some people like to call it stenciling. Um, I've been recently, this last week, been putting a lot of cards together and I love doing the rainbow effect. Um, so I just thought I'd show you how I do it. So it's kind of a bit of a technique video as well, I guess, um, but also just a, a card making um, video. So I have tons of um, masks or stencils. Um, I picked up um, five packs, each containing uh, five designs from the range in the UK um, on my last trip back to the UK. And all of these black ones, so if I go to the back, all of these are these designs. There's numbers, polka dots, alphabet, you can see all the different got the clouds, leaves, There's, there are more, those kind of mixed in between some of these stamping up ones that I've got as well. So the stamping up ones are these like grey coloured ones and then these black ones here, that's another one that's a brick brick wall which is really nice. And then I've got these ones here are from, oh god it's something like Doodle Boodle something, um, I'll share the links below so you'll be able to have a look but this is a really nice alphabet and this is almost like a tortoise shell effect. But I've got loads of them and it's a, it's a really nice um, way of making quick cards because you can kind of, you know, if you kind of, uh, sometimes when I'm a bit stumped and I don't know, I've got a bit of a brain block on what I want to make next, I always kind of resort to these stencils and I will sit there and I'll just create lots of different papers with lovely stencils on so that when I come to make cards I can just cut the papers down to size and, ma and mount them onto my card and I've got cards and I've got a few here to show you in a second that's another nice uh, stamping up one there with the stripes and so on so if you see them these are always usually pretty inexpensive um, and you can create really nice effects with them and you can use them for um, uh, embossing paste as well which I've I've shown as well on a tutorial which I'll share um, the link for after this video so that was just to show you what I've got there um, the one I'm going to be using today is this one here you can see it against that white card um, so I don't really follow any rules when it comes to what size cards I want I don't go any larger than six by six just because um, that's quite a nice size and I can use obviously the envelope pun um, punch board for that um, but I really like five by five cards so this is a five by five card I've got here and then I've just cut my my paper my mat that I'm going to stick on top this is four and three quarters square now I always cut whatever I want to stencil I will cut the sizes so I cut a lot of four and three quarters square cut and um, pieces of card because what I find some people do and in some tutorials and stuff when they do their stenciling is they do beautiful designs and then when they come to use it they then cut it down and you end up losing maybe a block of colour or some of the design and I feel it's a bit of a waste. So this way I can line my mat over the top and get a nice even, if I use my grid there to keep it in place. Um, oh yeah, that's what I've done, sorry, it's just um, another way. So I've already put double sided tape on the back of mine, so I'm just going to take one of them off and use this to just stick it down, just line it up so it's straight with one of the lines there. Just lightly, it's, it's fine. This tape peels off nice and easily. And then I can line my mat over the top and make sure I get a nice even coverage. So I'm using the edge of this bit of design here so I can see that I've got that perfectly where I want it. Grab some um, low tack, uh, uh, masking tape. <laughs> had a complete uh, mind block there of what I was using. And just make sure it's nice and flat, nice and tall. And do that on all four corners, sides even. And that's kind of the prep done. So you just want that in place. It just makes it easy then when you come to um, you know blend all of your colours and stuff. So just to give you an idea of what this technique is going to look like, these are the cards that I've already done. Um, so you can see here this is a rose background and I've just used the rainbow effect starting with the red, ending with the pink. Um, I've used Winker Stella there as well on this orange um, little die cut so it just gives it a nice finish. And again this is on a 5x5 five five card. This one here is a shaker card. And this is using a wood effect um, stencil that I've got, again with that rainbow effect, so you get a really, really nice nice finish there. 
This is a four by, I can't remember the measurement of this one, another shaker one. Live, love, laugh. These are some Sizzix um, sentiments that I've got, which I love. This is a honeycomb style um, one uh, mask that I've got there. Again, really, really nice design. This one's probably my favourite. I absolutely love this pattern. I think it's beautiful. Um, and again there, I've just heat embossed my sentiment, added a few little embellishments there, and you've got a really, really easy card. So, um, you know, I can't recommend masks enough. I love them. And... Um, I just think they give a, a really nice um, effect, really, really individual as well. So that's just some of the ones that I've got there, and they all fit the envelopes that I need and stuff, so it's perfect. Um, so what you will need for your rainbow colours is, if I bring them kind of in so you can see them here, um, like so. So they're mainly stamping up. Um, I do like the stamping up um, ink pads. Um, the refills are really easy to get hold of and even when they um, retire you can always find someone selling them um, so I just yeah I love their colours so I've got the um, but any reds will do so I've got the real red stamping up red then you need an orange so I've got Calypso Coral you need then a yellow so I've got Daffodil Delight then I've got Gumball Green uh, Tempting Turquoise Dapper Denim so a navy colour um, Flatty Flamingo a nice pink and then you've got your um, a purple. So I've got my favourite, actually. The purple should be after the blue. That's the colour of the, the sequence of the rainbow. Um, the um, Impress inks, I absolutely love. This is my favourite all-time colour. Um, it's just so nice, and it's the peony purple. Um, but any purple colour will do. So they are the two, four, six, eight colours that you will need to create your rainbow. So I'm just going to go and get all these... Um, lifted up. If you want to know about my little daubers or blending tools here, I'll share the link to this video because these are my homemade ones and they're brilliant. Um, so I'll share the little link there for you. Okay, so I've got all my inks ready to go. So um, I can see the area that I need to cover. Um, so I know that I, you know, I need to get all of the colours within that square, um, that white square. So starting first of all with the red, I'm just going to ink that up. And then basically just dab it down into the corner and just kind of layer it up. So don't go all in with tons at the beginning um, because you could risk ruining, ruining it. So it's all about um, little, little steps really. And you just want to build that up until you've got the, the desired colour that you want, so it's kind of then fading out towards the edge. Now the reason I'm dabbing it is because this particular stencil, it's got little bits like this, obviously the detail. If you start swirling around in a circle motion, you risk lifting these bits up and not only damaging your mask, but also ruining your project. So if you just go down from above, you'll get a really nice effect and you won't damage your um, piece of work. So. I'm happy that that's enough of the red that I need because obviously I've got eight colours so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight roughly kind of you know gauge it in your head how you want the coverage on your piece so now it's on to that orange colour so again just ink that up and again you just then want to start blending the two together Then onto the yellow. Green. And you've got that turquoise kind of blue colour. Make sure when you're going over, so say like for example the, the red, orange and yellow, they kind of naturally really just blend quite well. Then going from the yellow into green, just focus a bit more on that kind of where the two colours mix, you know, kind of blending. And you see here this blue and the green, they're quite two, you know, contrasting colours. So you just want to focus on that kind of join and you get then a really nice mix of colour. This dapper denim, this navy colour. Again, I know this comes out quite strong, so I'm just going to carefully 
blend that one. And my favourite, just such a rich colour. And it blends lovely against this blue, it creates a really deep bluey purple, it's lovely. That last piece of space for the pinky flirty flamingo. Again, that blends really nice as well against that purple colour. Okay, so there is the rainbow, and already you can see the effect it's going to give. It's just, it's, it's. Um, I love it. It's one of my favourite things to do, um, and it's really therapeutic and relaxing. So, like I said, it kind of, it's my little thing that I do when I get a bit stumped, desperate to do some crafting, don't know what I want to do. I always resort to stenciling. So then, just carefully peel off all of your tape. These masks, just wash them. I just wash them with plain running water, and I've got an old rag, and then just let them air dry. Because again, you don't want to risk. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Really, really lovely. And you've got beautiful papers, really individual papers as well, because everybody's would be different. You can see there how nicely it all just blends. And then what you can do now with this is you could add little, um, uh, you know, little diamantes to it. You could add Wink, wink of Stella to it. Um, you can put pretty much anything you want to. So I'm just going to carefully lift this one okay. off. And then I'll just clear my wipe this And with away. my five by five bit of card here, I've obviously got um, make make sure I've got a card that has one of those rainbow colours in it, which is why the cards I showed you earlier. I've used a green, I've used a yellow, I've used a purple, I've used a turquoise. So again, I've kind of grabbed all my rainbow colour card. Um, and just choose which way up you want it. I mean, it's a square and you should have a nice even border because it's exactly the same. And there you go, a really quick card, which is ready to then put the sentiment on of your choice, decorate even more to however you want. I always then mat inside my cards with the same mat size, so the four and three quarters. I will then also put inside my card with my stamped sent uh, sentiment on top, and that also just makes the card extra strong, but um, it needs to be bone. I need to bone fold that one, actually, because I've cut this one from card. Um, but there you have it, either that way, all that way entirely up to you but there it is a beautiful design so it's a really nice quick technique with great results beautiful colored cards so i hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial from me hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more thanks for watching bye